Well, oh, Brownie, what do you think? It's Thursday evening. I just got home from work. It's starting to cloud over a bit here. I'm not sure what's going to happen weather wise. So a little bit of an issue in the back of the truck here. I've got four rims with tires on them, which go with the eight I've got on the side of the house here. And those eight have not gone unnoticed. I've heard about that all week. I meant to do something with them last weekend, but just never happened. And I've got four bare rims back here. And I've got 12 more in the garage. So I'm hoping if it doesn't rain, I'm going to prep the bare rims I've got and take those in tomorrow morning. Before the price goes down our friend Canadian treasure hunter was remarking on his last video or one of his last videos that the prices were down at the coast so if they're down the coast they're either down here or about to go down so I'll try and get rid of most of them and then uh, for sure on this weekend I got to take the tires off the rest of them and of course uh, I ran across that panel in the dumpster at work. It's not a whole lot in it, but the uh, center section where that black piece of plastic is, that's all copper bus in there. So there's a little bit of number two. And on the way home, I ran across this stainless steel sink. So the typical sink there is about 10 pounds. Uh oh. Hey, Brownie, get off the road. Brownie. Brownie's wandering. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so this thing's about uh, 10 pounds, 70-something for stainless steel here. And came with two faucets, so that's the bonus there. There's a fair bit of brass there. So I'm going to drag that to the back and do something with it. Stay tuned. So what's new in the old shed? Well, I don't know if anybody remembers. I bought this beer pump off a guy. I don't know, a few years ago now. So anyways, it's been sitting down in the man cave ever since, gathering dust. So I'm trying to get that place cleaned up and usable because it kind of got out of control down there there's so much junk there I can't move anymore so I'm trying to sell this but no takers on it yet and there's the famous Heineken wooden shoes trying to get rid of those too we're gonna have a swap meet here in town in a couple of weeks so a couple of guys I know are putting on a booth so I'm going to sneak in with them and pay for half the booth and try to get rid of this stuff, some of this stuff. I'm going to try and sell that brass fire extinguisher. I have to resist not scrapping that one. It's a really old one, but between the brass and copper, it's probably worth <laughs> more than I paid for it. Then I came across this guy. So this thing is mostly all copper. Just the a couple of these handles aren't. So that's about nine pounds of uh, number two copper right there. So that's worth you know 36, 40 bucks just in scrap copper. So I'm gonna take that apart this weekend too. Yeah, and I've started the uh, the stuff again. I think I'll put my action camera on the roof of the car or roof of the truck, and uh, as I start to scrap those rims, probably needs to be charged up though. 
Okay, go to the house, have something to eat, and see what happens. Okay, so it's after dinner now, so I'm outside. Uh, basically, i got to take all the valve stems off. I've got to check all the rims for weights, get those off. And make sure there's no uh, center sections or any other plastic on the rims. So you can probably hear Brownie barking in the back room, in the background. Uh, he wasn't quite behaving outside, so I decided to stick him back in the house. And of course, he hates that when I'm outside. So he just keeps barking and barking. So he's just trying to make everybody know that uh, he'd rather be outside than uh, staying inside. Okay, so I got the ones in the back of the truck done. Now I got to uh, crack the garage door open and uh, work on those ones. Uh, I think I've got 12 stashed in here right now. 12 or 14, I can't remember. So first I want to weigh these ones that I've just processed. I like to check the weights on all of them just to make sure they're as heavy as I thought they were and if down the road I want to buy some I can tell right by looking at them how heavy they are pretty well they all average about 20 pounds a rim these were actually the lightest ones these were just about uh, 17 pounds so these are the lightest ones I had
I was working pretty hard, so I decided, well, you know what? It's time for a beer. That'll just help this go job go that much better.
So I decided to leave these bigger rims alone. I was going to need some other tools from back in the shop. And it was starting to look like rain, so I decided, yeah, I think I'll leave these ones for the trip on Monday. Uh, these are actually probably the heaviest ones I've got to take in. They should weigh about close to 30 pounds. But I thought rather than drag some more tools out from the back, I'll just call her a day and take the 14 rims in that I've got prepped up. So we'll see how that turns out. That should be about close to 300 pounds of rims in the back there. And let's just hope that the uh, price has not gone down. So, a shot of beer here, and uh, we'll say cheers. Bye for now.